Hi friends, welcome to Hotshot Racer 91 YouTube channel. This is video tutorial about Creo Parametric Solid Modeling Software. It is one of the most used solid modeling software used by product design firms and manufacturing companies. It helps to develop more products in less time without any comprise of quality and innovation. This is the first video Creo tutorials for beginners. In this video tutorial, you are going to learn about the Creo user interface like graphics window, graphics toolbar, quick access toolbar, ribbon, dashboard, status bar, menu bar, and model tree. The purpose of this tutorial video is that be friendly with user interface of Creo Parametric CAD software. For better learning of Creo, you should friendly with Creo user interface. So, let us see one by one. First, graphics window. This is graphics window of Creo Parametric software. This is the work area of Creo where you create and modify models such as parts, assemblies, and drawings. Next one is the graphics toolbar. It is located at the top of the graphics window. It contains commonly used tools and graphics window display filters. Next, you can see quick access toolbar. It is located at the top of the interface or in the title bar of the software, as you can see here. It contains commonly used set of commands that are independent of the operation you perform currently. Next is ribbon interface just like MS Office. The it contains majority of commands used in Creo Parametric which are placed in context sensitive menu. It helps to quickly access the Creo commands with one mouse click. Let us see what is dashboard user interface in Creo. Dashboard appear in the top of the graphic window, when you select a command. That is it will appear when you create or edit a feature. You can preview each changes in the screen without any lag. It is very important section and we will see about dashboard in upcoming tutorials in detail. Next is status bar of Creo. Located at the bottom of the interface. It contains icons for toggling the model tree and web browser panes on or off. It also included selection filter, 3D box selector, regeneration manager, and message log. Me Sage Log provides you with prompts, feedback and messages from Creo Parametric Modeling. The menu manager is also contained in status bar. It is floating menu bar that expands as required, to guide you through the options as you work. Next Creo user interface is model tree. It contains the hierarchical list of features or components, in the order in which they were created, as well as display status of those features and components. You can use the model tree for visualize model features or assembly components, features order, or component assembly order, to select a feature or component in model tree, and edit features or components. This is all about the Creo parametric user interface. If you find this video informative and helpful, feel free to like and subscribe us. Thank you.